and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. Today is Swine Up Community Day, and we're of course going to start out with some first minute checks. So, just going to check a few of the ones around me real quick, just to see if I get some first minute luck, and then we're going to head out. There's actually a huge amount of Swine Up right here already to start out, which doesn't really surprise me, but I did get here a couple minutes late. It's already like 2.08, um, so we're a little late to the party. But hopefully we do get a shiny in the first minute, and then we're going to be heading over to Clematis and uh, doing the, the usual community day rounds. Uh, we'll probably run into a few people we know. That is a rat attack. And uh, we'll talk about ancient power and uh, mammal swine and sinnoh stones and all that good stuff once I uh, clean up this cluster a little bit more. But so far it looks like no first minute shinies. Just a couple more left to check. And... Uh, Looks like the first minute, not going to get one, probably. We have two more left on the outside. Ugh, not shiny. And one more left to check down in this bottom corner. No shinies in the first minute, but we're more than likely going to get a few. I want to get at least three, one for, each one for each stage of the evolution, of course. And then a few more maybe for PvP and etc. So, wish me luck and happy hunting. Alright, so we haven't actually left the spot, but we've been here so long that oh, Shiny Swine Up finally. Up. I got one too, you're not special. Alright, well, we're gonna leave because I'm gonna record. And there we go. First Shiny Swine Up of the day. Um, very cool. Honestly, I forgot how really green that Swine Up is. And uh, let's go. I'll meet up with them in a little bit. But honestly, I just wanted to kind of chill out with you guys. Let's go. Shiny Swine Up added to the squad. Very cool. And pretty bad stats. But very cool. Very interesting that we got. Not exactly first minute, but kind of early on in the event. We already have our first one. And uh, yeah, we'll go meet up with the rest of them and uh, see y'all at the next Shiny Swine Up. All right, so we're continuing walking, and they've actually been doing a lot of construction. And with the new construction comes new shinies. Another swine up added to the squad. 114. So not great. But eh, this is probably going to be the one we keep as a swine up. And we'll probably evolve the other ones later on in the day. But very cool. We now have two swine ups. If I can connect. There we go. And John, Michael. And another guy that is around for a lot of the raids normally, he's normally more of a quiet guy, he's Josh. We're going to be going around this, this crew today. We might add a few more people as we go along, but holy swine ups. See you for the next Shiny. So we're walking along the water, and I guess this swine up is seasick because it's green. 403 shine up, swine up. Let's go. That's actually a good joke. That was pretty good. That Thank was, you. That was, I, that was pretty good. That was Thank you. I, you gotta name it seasick. <laughs> I'm definitely naming this one seasick. All right. So this is our good. third shiny swine up, which means that we've already hit the goal of getting one for each evolution. So now it's just about getting better ones, maybe one for Great League, potentially. Um, not so much really for Ultra Master, but for like raiding, I wouldn't mind uh, using some Mammal Swines. And then later on today, we'll do some evolutions, do all the battles, get the Sinnoh Stones, all that stuff. Um, I already had like a collection of 14 Sinnoh Stones coming into this, but uh, I wouldn't mind having 24 Sinnoh Stones uh, for like other evolutions, because earlier uh, in the week, I actually hatched a 100% Elected Oh, I'm getting used to this new update on my phone, but I have an elected. It's 100%. E. There it is. 100% elected. Right there, 689. Pretty psyched about that. And then we're getting up to another big cluster. So let's go. Make sure they all know that I called it. Hi, this is Michael. 
a few minutes ago, Michael was like, hey, there's a 10 CP shiny. Or a 10 CP swine up. And they were all like, oh, I hope no one gets that one. No, I said well, one of us are getting it. Oh, that's, yeah. <laughs> it was me. I, I got the 10. <laughs> that, this is a big woo. This is for sure. Oh, Great I got league. one. <laughs> was it also a 10? It's 297. Oh, that's, that's way better than a 10. All right, hey John. Well, 10 I got CP swine up. Uh, all right. We got another shiny swine up, which is very cool. Very cool indeed. And uh, you know what? We might as well try and do an evolution real quick. There we go. Great throw. Hi. All right. Awkward angle. Anyway. Two, three shakes. There we go. This is our fifth shiny swine up in the first 45 minutes, which is kind of crazy. Uh, let's go ahead and quickly check this one. Nope. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, do an evolution real quick. So we're going to go into our recent shinies. That is not how you spell shiny. There we go. Recent shinies, we're going to... There we go. Sorry. Recent shinies, we're going to go ahead and evolve this one up. So this is actually a pretty good one. The IVs aren't amazing, but they're not terrible either. So we're going to go ahead and get our first look at in-game shiny pilo swine. Which should, I think, is gold. Whoa. That is way more eye-popping than I thought it was. I thought it was more of like a yellow. But this is like a, this is a yellow. That's very cool. And now, we're going to go ahead and add Mammal Swine to the decks with the exclusive move Ancient Power. Uh, which, again, we'll talk about a little bit later, a little bit at the, towards the end of the video. But uh, first look at Shiny Mammal Swine and Mammal Swine being added to the decks here. This is not as green as I thought it would be. But still, add it to the decks as a shiny, no less. Very cool. And now I'm kind of interested in what regular Mammal Swine looks like. So, we're going to go ahead and go into our pile of swines, which I went ahead and evolved all these before. Watch your back. Watch your back. And we're going to go ahead and evolve this lucky swine up, or pile of swine rather, into our Pokedex lucky Mammal Swine. So now we're going to go ahead and add this to the Lucky Dex collection and see a first look at regular Mammal Swine. That's, a, that's actually a pretty big difference. I didn't think it was going to be that big. It's, it's a fairly big difference between the two. But there we go. Lucky Mammal Swine added to the squad as well. And let's get back to Shiny Hunting. 27. Who's getting 27? Not me. Well, I'm the only one that can say that. Do you want to say it? No, uh, it's too late. Here, he said he jinxed it. Joe got it? He got it. I got it. He got it. <laughs> I got the 27. The it's a big He's move. It's a big move right now. The 27 is a big move. But, hey, that's six shinies, and it's only three o'clock. So two more hours of hunting, and uh, I got six of them. Granted, one's a 10 and one's a 27, but I got six of them. Alright, so we have our another shiny swine up. So 250, I think, someone was saying that 250, I think, is like a good one to evolve for the Great League. So, keeping that in mind later, I might evolve this one all the way up. Then again, I'm not sure. Because if it goes like 1501... He's checking right now. Oof. Alright, well, I will let y'all know what I know. 250. Oof. John, did you get the 271? Alright, 271. Maybe for the Great League. Not sure yet. The 250 is for sure safe to evolve. Um, Ooh, okay. number three. Oh, three was coming but 270, I think, is pushing it. So, we're not sure. If this one is actually a good IV, maybe. It's not. Let's see. Uh, That's not 35, no, baby. not good. 35. But. Oh, it's a 34 IV. Mm. Oh no. Oh, it broke Interesting out. stuff. Oh. It makes Me and John are officially twins with Shinies now. We got 210 and the other one. So we got a few different ones to go ahead and mess around with for uh, Mammal Swine for uh, Great League. Uh, so at this point, I think I'm actually just going to like get the one with the best uh, IVs since they're all kind of like in that area already. Um, yeah, very interesting, especially with uh, the upcoming Tempest Cup 
which has just been announced. Uh, wow, none of these are good IVs. Just, just no, 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 no. Pretty bad. But hey, we got another shiny, and as long as I got you, we might as well be talking about the newly updated Ancient Power. So, Ancient Power, uh, Silver Wind, and of course, Ominous Wind are all now going to have buffs with them. So, any Pokemon like that, such as Mamoswine, um, and of course, also in uh, the upcoming Twilight Cup or ongoing Twilight Cup, Venomoth with Silver Wind and several Pokemon with Ominous Wind do have those moves that can have buffs. Now, buffs only have a 10% chance of actually hitting. Uh, so, but when you do, it is a 50% increase in attack and defense. Um, there is a visual glitch that does show that it's just defense at the time, though. Uh, so, there is that, but. If you only see defense, don't worry, attack is also being buffed at the same time. Um, and then, as long as we're here, we should also... Uh, not as shiny, unfortunately, but very cool. And uh, John Sandman just posted a video. Go follow John Sandman, he's a very cool, very funny guy. Um, even if you don't like his the video games he does play, they are always entertaining videos. Um, anyway. New buffed moves, and of course, uh, the Sinnoh Stones. Let me go ahead and find Sinnoh Stones. So, again, you can get five today, all day today. You can get five from battling your trainer, and you can also get five from battling in PvP. So there is that, and then we'll be going around today. Still got... An hour and a half left in the event, so halfway through, and then we're going to go ahead and do some trades, try and get at least one more lucky um, for evolution purposes, and uh, very cool, very excited about today. Uh, it's been so far really cool. Let's go ahead and just jump into our shiny collection, which is now at 3, 6, 9, 10 shiny swine up in just the first half of the event, and uh, we're going to go ahead and... So that is it for today. As you can see, there's no swine ups anywhere to be found. But I will say this. I silently popped off in the last uh, hour. Now, I did notice that my camera was starting to die. So I was like, okay, let me go ahead and put it away. And uh, this is what happened. We ended the day off with 3, 6, 9, 12, 14. 14 shinies, which is pretty darn good. Uh, now, I did also copy and paste from the GoHub. GoHub, every community day, puts out a community day guide that also has a perfect CP checklist. So we're going to go through these and see if we happen to get a perfect swine up. Not a perfect. There's a couple. Now, just because it matches up the CP doesn't mean that it's going to be the same IV. A bunch of these are 10s. Really strong. Oh, no. 144, maybe. Room for improvement. And last one is this one here. 359, room for improvement. So yeah, unfortunately no hundo either. And then I did actually, if you go ahead and check out this, I did hatch my Pokedex uh, Happening, which is very cool. So we got this. Let's go ahead and appraise this one because this is my first one ever. About the best defense, best I've ever seen. Pretty darn cool, and this is from Brazil. So from one of uh, you guys that watch my channel and have subscribed and sent me stuff from Brazil. Very cool, very cool indeed. And uh, let's go ahead and check out the Mamoswines, because I have went ahead and evolved a bunch that I had, like kind of saved for today. So I have five Mamoswines, including one Lucky and a bunch of very high CP, or rather very high IV Mamoswines, so very cool. and. Seasick, which actually was one of my better ones. I haven't checked a lot of the more recent ones, but uh, that's what this last hour is for, to go ahead and check for that. But I will be evolving at least one more. Let's check out this 344. Praise, battle the best, HP, best I've ever seen. Yo, let's go ahead and just evolve this one. 
and see what we get as far as pile of swine or mammoth swine. I might keep this one as pile of swine and not get ancient power on it, uh, just because I think that avalanche and other possible movesets might be better. Also, I want one pile of swine maybe for Great League also. So there we go, a little yellow, very cool looking pile of swine uh, with pretty good IV for a shiny. So we're gonna keep that as a shiny. And uh, yeah, there we go. We have one mammoth swine, one pile of swine, and 12 swine ups. A bunch of very low CP ones, unfortunately, including a 10. Well, yeah, that's the episode for today. If you did like it, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you're enjoying the series, please subscribe. And as always, God bless, and see you for another episode of Pokemon Go.